So we've got name, size, type, and temporary name. Not all of these are required to actually upload the file, and the ones that are not required to upload the file are this, this, and in fact name. But what we want to do is we want to keep the same name um, as the file um, as we've uploaded it. So we need, in this case, temporary name and the name of the file. So underneath here, what am I going to do? The first thing I need to do is check whether we've actually um, chosen a file and we've submitted the form. So we can do this with, with the um, is set function. So I can say if is set name and in fact you can incorporate others in there but I'm just going to be assuming that the uh, the file has a name which it would do uh, in most cases. So if is set name what we then do in here, inside here is we can echo out something just to test. So OK for example. So if we come back to our form as it is and we don't select a file and I click submit um, oh okay oh yeah sorry it is set so if is set name then we need to do another check saying if not empty name do something otherwise do something else so here we can just say please choose a file otherwise we can say everything's okay because this will presume that we've selected a file from our computer, we've clicked the submit button, the two if statements are validated to true if the file is, first of all, if the form has been submitted, and second of all, if the file has a name, which you presume it will do if the user select a file. So, um, let's just, oh well, no, we won't choose a file for now. Go back to the page that is, click submit, and it's telling me please choose a file. Now what I'm gonna do is actually choose a file click submit and it's telling us it's okay so this is um, some basic um, form or validation to make sure that a file is here now what do we do with the file once we know it's there and we've we've performed these couple of checks well what we need to do is we need to move the file from its temporary location to a specified location and this specified location is in the uploads folder Okay, so I'm just going to put uploads and then a and then a, a trailing forward slash. Now what we need to do is we need to use a um, a function called move uploaded file, and we need to give it two parameters. The first one is the temporary location, which is temporary name. Um, in fact, before we do all this, let's just kill the page there and echo out the temporary name so you can get a general idea of where it's being stored. So let's just pick that file there and click submit. You can see that this is being stored in C colon backslash xamp temp and it's and the file name is php c279.tmp. This is the file that we've just uploaded. However, it's in an unusable format uh, and it's not in the location we want it in. So let's get rid of that and we won't kill our page anymore. So move uploaded file, you need the temporary name as the first argument to this um, function, and the second is the location. So I'm gonna say location. Now, we do need to add something else onto this, we need to give it a name. So fair enough, we're uploading to the uploads folder, but now what we need to do is append on the end of it a file name here. Now, obviously we already have the file name, so we don't need to specify that ourselves. It's just simply name because we're taking the file name of the uh, file we've uploaded. So to make this to make sure this works a bit better, I'm going to enclose this function in an if statement and then if the file is successfully uploaded, I'm just going to echo uploaded. Okay? So now let's test this out. Let's go back to upload.php. I'm going to click submit and it's telling me to please choose a file. So that's just testing our validation. I'm going to choose this image called worsley underscore nicola one dot jpeg. And if we go back to our, um, in fact, we'll just quickly go back to our uh, folder and make sure there's nothing in here. So there's nothing in here at present. So let's choose that file and click submit. And it says uploaded. So we've processed everything that we've written already with no error. Now, for the interesting part, let's go back and have a look at this uploads folder and see if it's uploaded. And in actual fact, it has. So we've clicked, we can click on this and preview it in our browser. But we've successfully uploaded a file. Now, let me just take you through the stages again. We grab the name of the file itself, which is uh, here and here. And we grab the temporary name, or this is the temporary location rather. Then what we do is we're checking if the form's been submitted. Then we check if um, 
Then we check if uh, the file exists, so have they selected a file. We specify a location in a variable, which is the uploads folder. So this corresponds uh, to the folder um, here. Uh, and then what we do is we say if this is successful, if this function is successful, and while we're performing this if statement, we're we're um, calling it as well. So we're uploading from the temporary name and we're renaming it into this location with this file name here. So obviously I could say, um, I could specify here, let's put it in uploads forward slash image dot uh, jpeg. Okay, so now what I could do is click on upload.php, select a different file, click submit, um, and you'll see that it will have put it into the exact location I've specified there. However, what we want to do is we want to do it based on the file that the user is uploading um, and obviously I've just stored this in uh, in a different variable. Then we echo upload it if that's okay. Um, we could obviously add um, something here to say um, there was an error. Now, so this is how to basically upload a file. As you can see, there's sort of a lot involved with it but it, once you get the hang of it it's easy to do um, however what we haven't done is we haven't performed any validation on the file itself so as it stands I could upload a PHP file I could upload um, an exe file I could upload anything I basically want so uh, in the next video we're going to be looking at how to secure the form and only allow a JPEG file